These are just too many things. What am I gonna do with all of this in an hour? I'm ready to stitch some stuff. Oh, wow. That was so satisfying. Ah! Hello everyone and welcome to the first ever Style Summer Olympics. My, is that applause for me? Stop. Stop, I'm blushing, please. <laughs> no, don't stop, I need, I need the applause. Keep it coming, please, please. My name is Emil Ennis Jr. and I will be your host for this epic week of competition. Now let me explain because over the next three videos, our competitors will be testing their skills in events based on fashion, food, and beauty. The winner will be awarded our coveted, our biggest honor, the Style Summer Rose Gold Trophy. Can I please have my assistant bring me the trophy? Oh, well. We're socially distanced right now and they're not here. Also, I don't have an assistant, so just give me one second while I grab the trophy. Our Style Summer Rose Gold Trophy. Oh, oh the Style Summer uh, Rose Gold Trophy. And now on to the competition. Today's event will be in the category of fashion with the game called DIY. Competitors will each be given a box full of random household supplies, and they will have to use the supplies to DIY a fabulous outfit. Now for the rules. Rule number one, competitors have to use all of the items in the box to create the outfit. Two, competitors can use one item from their closet to help create the outfit. Three, the outfit must be completed in one hour. No ifs, ands, or buts. So our judge for today's event is my partner in crime and Clever News own, Susan Morad. Thank you so much, Emil. I'm so honored and so excited about getting to be the judge for today's fashion event. Really, I know how much work goes into putting one of these outfits together, having put my own outfit together for the Met Gala look. So I know the girls are gonna bring their absolute A game. I think it's gonna be really hard to pick a winner, but I just cannot wait to see what they're gonna bring to the table. And I even brought and put on the fanciest frock that I could find. Well, actually the only one that kind of still fits me during quarantine, but you know, irrelevant details. Let's get on with the fashion. Thank you, Susan. Now let's meet our competitors. First up, <clears throat> we have Drew Dorsey. Okay, so her favorite color is glitter. Kitten heels make her physically ill, which I understand. And she is known to frequently bust out a high note or two. Girl, same. Hi, Marie. Okay. <clears throat> Next up we have Lauren Powell. Lauren is first in line every year for a Starbucks pumpkin spice latte. She never met a Target deal she didn't like. And she is fluent in pun language. You know, I get that because I go into Target expecting to spend like $10 and I walk out with a $250 receipt. Somebody explain it, help me please. And last but not least, we have Sinead DeVries. All right, so Sinead's hair is so big because it's full of random knowledge. She invented the donut, and her secret weapon is her adorable son, Harrison. So now you know the rules, I think it's time. Competitors, the clock is set for one hour. Good luck. Okay, you guys, I'm ready to DIY some stuff. I'm ready to cut up some stuff. I'm ready to glue some stuff. I'm ready to stitch some stuff. All right, here we go. Not off to the best start. Oh, oh. Oh, what do we have here? The first item is a shower curtain. That's kind of like fabric. At least something is fabric-like. I, I thought it was gonna be like, make a shirt out of a lamp. You know what I mean? Like, I can work with that. It's a lot of fabric, but at least that means I have a lot to work with. Not mad at that. It looks like we have, of course, one of those stretchy shirts, a popcorn shirt, whatever you call it, that we tried in the um, one size fits all video. In a bunch of like threads. <gasps> Lauren, I barely pulled on him. Did you do that? This scrunchy shirt, I just feel attacked. I feel personally attacked by this. Maybe I'll use this as an accessory to clean up my dog's poop. Oh, cute. What is this? Um, vintage wedding decor. It's a box of flowers. Oh, yeah, I could definitely work with these. I think I want to put them in my hair. The flowers are cool. I'm getting ideas. Getting ideas. Okay, it looks like I have a pair of socks which will come in handy for me after this video because I always lose my socks. I swear my washing machine eats them. Like, what am I gonna do with this? I'm gonna have to get creative. I'm gonna have to get really creative. A magazine? Oh, this is my favorite perfume in the world. 
This magazine, I'm all sorts of confused with. If I like read it while I'm DIYing, does that count as using it? What's this? Is it a necklace? It's sparkly, I like that. It matches my Olympics uniform. This is not acceptable as a mask though. Do not wear this as your mask. Look at that, look at it, it is so cute. God, you gotta love a mini purse. I gotta use this tiny purse as not a tiny purse because it's all about uniqueness and creativity. A purse can't be a purse. You know? Let's see, what else do we have in here? Are those? Yep, they're string lights. We've got some string lights. They're not even battery operated, come on. These will be nice for afterwards, like if like decorate a patio or something. I'm thinking of like all the items that I can use after the video. <laughs> True, focus, how can you use these for an outfit right now? You're in the Olympics, you gotta take it seriously. I've used all of these items? This is so much stuff. <sighs> Nothing matches. But that is okay. My first impression was like, obviously like, should I wrap this shower curtain around me and then maybe use the lights to anchor it? But I'm like, no, I feel like everyone's gonna do that. You know what I mean? I feel the most confident about making something out of this shower curtain. I feel the least confident about incorporating these string lights that Everything's pretty unique. All the patterns are bold. And of course, there's an entire box of string lights. So I'm gonna try to kind of plan out an outfit idea first. Is the bulk of the outfit gonna be the shower curtain? And then maybe I use this as an accent because let's be real, this shirt should have never seen the light of day again. This shirt is awful. So I don't really wanna wear it as a shirt. This is what I think I wanna do. I think I wanna cut the shower curtain in half or like partially in half so I can make like a crop top and then in order for the crop top to stay on I'm going to cut the shirt into like ribbon and then corset the top. When I first saw this shower curtain I thought I knew exactly what I wanted to do but now seeing all these other pieces it feels like a little too much you know and I'm the queen of doing too much to your DIY and even I think that these are just too many things what am I going to do with all of this in an hour? and also it has to plug in. I'm just gonna have to try to incorporate all these things as accents. Why would they give me socks? I could use the socks as gloves. I have a two-piece set that is similar in pattern to this, so if I could just use that for measurements and tracing, then it is that recreation element that I need to, to succeed. Ah! Felt good to get that out. Okay, so let me see how I can cut this to make the top. Gonna do my best to use as much fabric from this as possible. How do I make shorts? What if I just make a skirt? Why are we making this difficult? Let's just make a skirt, Lauren. Let's just make a skirt. I'm gonna start with it being longer as opposed to shorter. Oh, wow. That was so satisfying. Oh, it has like a little accidental slip because I didn't measure it. That's cute. I messed up a little bit, but that's okay. Cut it too, <laughs> too short, but that's okay because I'm gonna use the scrunchie shirt as my corset. So it's fine if like the back's not closed. You know what I mean? It might add a nice little back cleave effect. You know, I'm not worried. Would Vera Wang worry? I feel like I'm on Project Runway. I would do so bad on Project Runway. I'd be like, um, I made a t-shirt and some sweatpants. <laughs> All right, well, this could be a really cute skirt if I didn't have to use any of these other items. Okay, so I made my holes on each side, but this is the bottom. I think I'm going to fold it and glue it so that when I put it on, the bottom won't look frayed and it'll be more of a crop situation, you know? Not the greatest hems in the world. Seams are a little suspect, but it'll do. <laughs> now I'm going to take my scrunchie shirt and we're going to cut her. I shouldn't give it a pronoun, it makes it too personal. <laughs> I'm going to cut it uh, into strips so that it can create a long enough thread to corset this puppy. All right, so I think I figured out what I'm gonna use this magazine for. I usually wear this necklace, this Lauren necklace, so I was thinking I could cut out various letters to spell Lauren and wear it as a choker. Am I crazy? Probably, let's see if I can do it. I am determined to make these string lights work in this skirt, so I'm thinking like, what happens if I just cut through this? It either go really bad or really good. Might as well try. My ribbon has now been created from my scrunchie shirt. So now I'm going to thread it through the ends of this. Okay, so apparently the producers have added a danger element because the string lights are made of glass. 
This is just glass game for trouble. This is so ugly, but I mean, it works, right? Oh man, I might actually hate this outfit. Okay, look you guys. The top's done. Look, see the corset? I took extra fabric. I'm gonna tie a bow or I'm gonna make it like a halter top. All right, so the bulk of the outfit's done. Top, skirt with the very questionable light bulb rose belt. All that's left now is magazine, socks, mini purse. Oh, thank God that's it. Oh, dang it. And the shirt. Finally figured out a way to incorporate this stupid thing. I glued it on as little cluster buttons because I needed like a material that would come through this grommet. So I did that. Okay, next I want to glue the magazine to the purse to make a magazine purse. <sighs> Get me DIY in. It would be silly just to use the purse as a purse, right? So maybe I make this into a purse since it's hideous and not worth a lot of thought. I think we're gonna win this challenge. I don't know, I think you have to work a little bit harder. Been quarantined way too long. Taking it back to 1995. Maybe let's just put some roses on it. Oh yeah, this is it, you guys. Hair is done. Oh my god, I love this so much. My hair is like a push cushion. Each of the roses has just like a little stem and I just stuck it in there. And then put some garnish by my ears to get like goddess vibes, you know? The top is basically done. I glued on these little straps, tried to match up the color. I even glued a seam, because you know I'm always complaining about seams. What the hell am I gonna do with a string of lights? I have no idea what to do with this. I really gotta figure out something with this, because this is hideous. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Now I just have to put it all on. Ugh. Outfit time. I was trying to do something over here, it didn't work, but competitors, oh, falling. The time is up, put down the glue gun, it's time to hit the runway. And to kick things off, we're going to be using, well, I'm gonna be using the red dancing lady emoji. You know the one, I mean, she's been around forever, can't really do it in this dress, but that is what we're gonna to use to rate the girls from one to five on uniqueness, creativity, and detail. I've got a laptop right over here, I'm gonna hit play and I'm gonna watch. And first of all, we're gonna play Sinead's look. So, here we go. All right, so here is the final product. Honestly, it turned out better than I expected. I was able to use the shower curtain to create a full outfit with the string lights acting as like a belt-ish. And the socks, surprisingly enough, went a long way. Not only did it uh, serve as my mask, complete with mini purse detail, but it also acts as uh, little bracelets as well. This look is called Never, because never in my life did I think I would be able to pull this off. And I would also wear it nowhere. This is an at-home outfit, but you you know what? I think I crushed it. So let me just put my pearl mask on. Out. Give me the gold medal. Wow, Sinead, you absolutely slayed this look. It looks so good, but the mask in particular, which looks like little um, pearls, is amazing, an amazing touch. And the bag, OMG, it looks like something you could totally buy from the store. Wow, Sinead, this is absolutely killer. <laughs> For creativity, I give you five dancing girl emojis because this is just so freaking cool. How on earth did you turn that sock into like a band that goes around your ear? Like you need to teach me how to do that. So creativity, five dancing emojis. All right, next up we have uniqueness. Now I'm gonna give Sinead a four and a half dancing emoji. I'm gonna do a half because this outfit is so unique. I love what she did with the COVID mask and also that bag. I'm just gonna penalize half a point just for the like the similarities of, of certain looks I've seen before, um, only in terms of like the top and the skirt. So freaking cool, four and a half out of five for uniqueness. One thing Sinead knows about is detail. I'm gonna give five dancing emojis. Five dancing emojis. The detail on this is so freaking cool. The detail of the mask, the detail in the headpiece. Five for detail and um, I'm actually quite scared of, of what I'm gonna see next because it's gonna be tough to beat.
This is my Olympic, my Olympic. It's waterproof, it's electrical, so maybe not completely waterproof. It could fall apart at any second, and uh, maybe I should have sized it down. You know, it's a little big. Okay, so this is a custom two-piece shower curtain Lauren original. I used the shower curtain for the skirt and the top. I use the little scrunchy weird thing for my buttons. This is the string light with the fake flowers glued to it. And the glitter bandana is here. I cut it and put cut out L-O-R-Y-N from the Cosmo magazine and I glued it here. Oh, one more thing. I didn't want to just use the mini purse as a mini purse, so I attached it to my shoe, like a shoe belt, a shoe purse. And there's lip gloss inside, but I almost just hurt myself trying to show you that. Oh my God, how on earth did she put that top together? Together. That top looks so legit. And the choker with Lauren written on it. Oh my God. So chic, so cool. I absolutely love this. Okay, first up creativity. I'm gonna give Lauren five dancing emojis out of five because I love the creativity that's gone into this. I love the boa with the flowers. You actually can't even tell that it's a cord. And then also just the detail that's gone into the skirt. I know it's a little bit big. I guess that happens when you're working with a shower curtain. So yeah, I'm gonna give Lauren five for creativity. Next up, we have uniqueness. Now, this outfit is super unique and I'm gonna give Lauren a four and a half dancing emoji out of five. I love what she's done with the buttons and the shirt, like really, that is such a cool way to put it together. I'm penalizing only half a point from a full mark because again, I'm splitting hairs here and there is elements of the look that I've maybe seen before. Uh, so four and a half dancing emojis for Lauren for uniqueness. All right, next up we have detail. Now there's so much incredible detail that's gone into Lauren's look from her boa to her <laughs> bag around her ankle. The only thing I would say is like the fit wasn't perfect. Lauren even pointed that out herself. Again, it's like a shower curtain. So like, how do you make it even fit that well? So um, I'm going to have to say four and a half dancing emojis out of five for the detail only because of the fit being less than perfect. I love this. Like, I really wasn't expecting to love it, but like, I'm proud of myself. First, I have the flowers. I wanted to give like a goddess vibe. Then I took the scrunchie shirt. I cut it into ribbon, as you can see, and I made it into a corset for the top. And then I used extra to make it into a halter top. And then my favorite part, I think, is the Cosmo purse with my girl Normani. And then I used the mini sparkly bandana just to give the purse a little extra flair. Love that, it's my favorite part. And then I wrapped the lights around as like a little scarf situation. Oh my God, I love this. It's got such a wow factor about it, just seeing it for the first time. And that top looks amazing. I love the detail on that and the back. Wow, how on earth did she do that? It's a very like goddess, goddess vibe. I feel like we need to make a statue of Drew right now. All right, first of all, we have creativity. Now, I love this look so much. I think it's so creative. I'm gonna give Drew five dancing emojis out of five because I mean, she looks like she could almost be the dancing emoji, but like she's not wearing red. The fact that she turned another piece of clothing into like a ribbon essentially and turned it into a corset up the back. Props to you, Drew, that is amazing. And it's a shower curtain. Did I, did I mention that? Next up, we have uniqueness. Now, I think this is super unique. Again, I feel like going with a goddess looking, almost Grecian style statuette look. I'm gonna give Drew five dancing emojis out of five for uniqueness. Finally, we have detail. Now, I love the detail that's gone into Drew's look. For me, the top is everything. Like the detail of that is impeccable and it looks so good. And I love what Drew's done with the bag, turning the magazine into a bag, sticking it to the bag with a bit of mesh on the bottom to add a bit of razzle dazzle, like love that. So based on the detail of the top and the bag and the perfectly fitting skirt and everything going on with the hair, I'm gonna give Drew a five out of five for detail. 
well. Okay, you guys, that was so hard and so overwhelming and so impressive all at the same time. I mean, all of them deserve to win. They all looked so amazing, but we can't do that today because it is the Olympics and the numbers don't lie. And the winner of the Rose Gold Trophy is... Drew Darcy! I won, you guys! This is so cute! <laughs> Look at the rose gold trophy, I love it! It's a, it's a rose gold C for clever. Um, I would just like to thank, I need to do a little acceptance speech, I would like to thank you all for watching and making the Clever Olympics a possibility. I would like to thank our lovely judge, Susan Murad, for liking my designs, and I would like to thank, well, myself, for being creative. <laughs> Susan, you did such an incredible job judging. Thank you so much for joining us. But that wraps up our first day of the Style Summer Olympics. And we still have two riveting days of competition. So make sure you stay tuned because our next day of competition, our competitors are going to push their taste buds and fashion knowledge to the limit. And you don't want to miss it. I'm your host, Emilianis Jr. And uh, good night.